Hi friends, welcome to Nursing Online Education. In this video we will be discussing important questions and answers of different nursing competitive examinations. Guys, let's get started. Here is our first question. The charge nurse enters the nursing diagnosis, risk for ineffective airway clearance related to an inability to swallow, on the client's care plan. Which nursing intervention is most appropriate for managing the identified problem? And the options are A. Keeping the client supine B. Removing all head pillows C. Performing oral suctioning D. Providing frequent oral hygiene I repeat, the options are A. Keeping the client supine B. Removing all head pillows C. Performing oral suctioning D. Providing frequent oral hygiene The right answer is option C. Performing oral suctioning Here is our next question. The nurse initiates a teaching plan for the client with Parkinson's disease. Which instruction should be the nurse's priority in this situation? And the options are A. Steps to enhance the client's immune system B. Importance of maintaining a balanced diet C. Need to remove all safety hazards D. Importance of social interactions I repeat, the options are A. Steps to enhance the client's immune system B. Importance of maintaining a balanced diet C. Need to remove all safety hazards D. Importance of social interactions The right answer is option C. Need to remove all safety hazards Here is our next question a 64-year-old client with uterine cancer is scheduled to undergo an abdominal hysterectomy under general anesthesia. Before the client returns from the post-anesthesia care unit, the registered nurse asks the licensed practical nurse to help revise the care plan for the client who has undergone a hysterectomy. Which nursing diagnosis is most appropriate for the nurse to add to the client's care plan at this time? And the options are a risk for ineffective airway clearance b risk for imbalanced nutrition c ineffective coping d impaired verbal communication i repeat the options are a risk for ineffective airway clearance b risk for imbalanced nutrition c ineffective coping d impaired verbal communication The right answer is option A risk for ineffective airway clearance. Here is our next question. After the health care team meets to discuss the client's nursing needs, the nursing diagnosis, disturbed body image, is added to the care plan. The best rationale for adding this nursing diagnosis to the care plan in the case of a female is that females with Cushing's syndrome typically experience which physiologic effect. And the options are A. Masculine characteristics B. Heavy menstrual flow C. Extreme weight loss D. Large, pendulous breasts I repeat, the options are A masculine characteristics b heavy menstrual flow c extreme weight loss d large pendulous breasts the right answer is option a masculine characteristics here is our next question what is the average incubation period of hepatitis a and the options are a 30 days b 60 days c 50 days d 14 days i repeat the options are a 30 days b 60 days c 50 days d 14 days the right answer is option a 30 days here is our next question a client with multiple sclerosis has been prescribed the drug baclofen lyorisol. 
What is the action of this drug? And the options are. A. Reduces spasticity. B. Skeletal muscle relaxation. C. Immune suppression. D. Prevents viral infections. I repeat. The options are. A. Reduces spasticity. B. Skeletal muscle relaxation. C. Immune suppression. D. Prevents viral infections. The right answer is option A reduces spasticity. Here is our next question. An 18-year-old woman who broke her right ankle is seen in the physician's office one week after the cast was removed. Which of the following is the short-term goal for this patient? And the options are. A. Walk 100 feet with crutches. B. Walk completely independent. C. Relieve the pain. D. Strict bed rest. I repeat. The options are. A. Walk 100 feet with crutches. B. Walk completely independent. C. Relieve the pain. D. Strict bed rest. The right answer is option A. Walk 100 feet with crutches. Here is our next question. The nurse is observing a detailed neurological assessment on a client with a suspected brain tumor. When performing the Romberg test, the client sways when the eyes are both open and closed. What does this indicate? And the options are. A. The problem is probably in the cerebellum. B. It is a position sense abnormality. C. This is not an abnormal test result. D. The client has lost proprioception. I repeat. The options are. A. The problem is probably in the cerebellum. B. It is a position sense abnormality. C. This is not an abnormal test result. D. The client has lost proprioception. The right answer is option A. The problem is probably in the cerebellum. Here is our next question. What is the percentage of boy with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder? And the options are. A. 12%. B. 16%. C. 8%. D. 4%. I repeat. The options are. A. 12%. B. 16%. C. 8%. D. 4%. The right answer is option A 12%. Here is our next question. Which of the following statement is most accurate? And the options are. A. Girls have more ADHD than boys. B. Boys are more frequently diagnosed with chronic illnesses. C. Boys are less frequently diagnosed with chronic illnesses. D. Girls have more other chronic illness than ADHD. I repeat. The options are. A. Girls have more ADHD than boys. B. Boys are more frequently diagnosed with chronic illnesses. C. Boys are less frequently diagnosed with chronic illnesses. D. Girls have more other chronic illness than ADHD. The right answer is option B. Boys are more frequently diagnosed with chronic illnesses. Here is our next question. A three-week-old infant is hospitalized with jaundice. When considering the fluid needs relative to body size of the infant as compared to the fluid needs of an adult, the nurse knows this infant requires. And the options are. A. Less fluids. B. More fluids. C. Same amount of fluids. D. Much less fluids. I repeat. The options are. A. Less fluids. B. More fluids. C. Same amount of fluids. D. Much less fluids. The right answer is option B. More fluids. Here is our next question. A child is treated for superficial first-degree thermal burns to the thigh. 
The child is in great discomfort and does not eat. Which of the following diagnosis should receive priority? And the options are A. Altered nutrition B. Impaired skin integrity C. Risk of infection D. Acute pain I repeat, the options are A. Altered nutrition B. Impaired skin integrity C. Risk of infection D. Acute pain The right answer is option A. Altered nutrition Here is our next question. A pediatric nurse is providing medication instructions to the mother of a 13-year-old boy who is starting antidepressant therapy. The mother appears unfocused, agitated and confused and asks the nurse to repeat the instructions several times. She tells the nurse that she is concerned that she might administer the medication incorrectly. The nurse is concerned that the mother is not following the instructions. Which intervention would be most appropriate? And the options are A. Reassure her that doubts are normal. B. Reinforce the importance of correct dosage. C. Refocus the teaching with printed material. D. Take a small break and the continue. I repeat, the options are A. Reassure her that doubts are normal. B. Reinforce the importance of correct dosage. C. Refocus the teaching with printed material. D. Take a small break and the continue. The right answer is option C. Refocus the teaching with printed material. Here is our next question. The floating ribs that are not attached with sternum are. And the options are. A ribs 7 and 8 b ribs 9 and 10 c ribs 11 and 12 d ribs 9 and 10 and 11 and 12 i repeat the options are a ribs 7 and 8 b ribs 9 and 10 c ribs 11 and 12 d ribs 9 and 10 and 11 and 12 The right answer is options C, ribs 11 and 12. Here is our next question. A patient with heart failure has the following vital signs, which of these vital signs should be reported to the physician prior to administrating the next dose of digoxin? Blood pressure 136 84 mmHg. Heart rate 48 per minute. Respiratory rate 20 per minute. Temperature 37.1 C. And the options are. A. Blood pressure. B. Pulse. C. Temperature. D. Respiratory rate. I repeat. The options are. A. Blood pressure. B. Pulse. C. Temperature. D. Respiratory rate. The right answer is option B. Pulse. Here is our next question. A 50-year-old male presents to the medical office three weeks after cardiac surgery with complaints of a feeling of weakness, difficulty breathing, and joint pains. Upon examination the nurse finds a fever and a friction rub on auscultation of the chest. The nurse recognizes that the most likely surgical complication is. And the options are. A. Neuropsychological dysfunction. B. Postpericardiotomy syndrome. C. Cardiac tamponade. D. Phrenic nerve damage. I repeat. The options are. A. Neuropsychological dysfunction. B. Postpericardiotomy syndrome. C. Cardiac tamponade. D. Phrenic nerve damage. The right answer is option B. Postpericardiotomy syndrome. Here is our next question. As identified by Dr. Elizabeth Kubler Ross, which stage of dying is characterized by the transition from no, not me, to yes, me, but and the options are a anger b depression c acceptance d 
bargaining i repeat the options are a anger b depression c acceptance d bargaining the right answer is option d bargaining thanks for watching subscribe for more videos